to Ibrox, Rangers, Kilmarnock, Chick Young. Well, Lightning didn't strike twice at Ibrox. Kilmarnock fails to boldly go once more where they went earlier in the season. The introduction of substitute Peter Hustra in the second half and this consequent 70th minute goal gave Rangers on the road to victory, something they couldn't achieve earlier in the season. The business of the day, the business of the day was really done and dusted five minutes later when Mark Hatley, surprise, surprise, scored a second. And a minute after that, his own second and Rangers third. The scoreline didn't reflect Kilmarnock's contribution because they did have a real go at Rangers and it was only after Hussa's goal that the world caved in. But in the end, there was no stopping Rangers and almost inevitably Hatley, who has now scored 19 goals in this championship campaign. 44,919 fans inside Ibrox, 20 of them from Kilmarnock, for the last stand of the South Enclosure, which will now be all seeded. You get the feeling now that the only thing Rangers would set out is the title race. Rangers 3, Kilmarnock 0. How patience paid off in a big way for Rangers. Now, Rangers made one change from the team which defeated Celtic on New Year's Day. David Robertson coming back after Stephen Presley failed a late fitness test. Killy boss Tommy Burns left himself out of the side, bringing in Mark Roberts, who scored when Killy beat Rangers at Ibrooks, and that was, of course, back in August. The referee was Les Marsham from fourth, summariser Gordon McQueen, match commentator Jerry McNee. So away we go for the first big match here at Ibrooks in 1994. When I say that uh, in the knowledge, there were 20,000 here the other day for an old firm reserve game, with around 45,000 in the stadium this afternoon, just about the same as we're here when Kilmarnock won by two goals to one back in August. And Kilmarnock very positive that day and uh, threatening to do so here as well, but uh, a little bit of a miscue there by Ali Mitchell. And the ball drifts out of play for the throw to Rangers. David Robertson back after his injury. It seemed at Hitley, who's been very much the player of the season so far for Rangers. Robertson's head up. Long one away by Brown. And a bit of a stumble there by Andy Milne. It's picked up there by Craney. It's challenged by McCall. It breaks to Trevor Stephen. Good play by Stephen, picking out Alexa Mikhailichenko. And he has to settle for the throw-in after the challenge from Gus McPherson, who began his career here at Ibrox. Good challenge that by Black. This is Sean McSkimming. That's Craney, leaving it to Black. Stringing the passes together, it's McSkimming sending it through and headed behind there by Robertson. Well, Ali Mitchell was coming in behind him and the Rangers defender did the wise thing. And set the ball behind for the corner. So a positive enough start by Kilmarnock. And it's Mark Riley going out to take it. And uh, there's Mark Roberts who scored here in the last match between the teams. High one played in, and uh, Goff's up there for Rangers. And as far as Montgomery. This is Black, who'll have a crack there. And uh, knocked away by Goff. Another from Trevor Stephen, not a very good one. And uh, that's not a bad effort going in from Ali Mitchell. Well, they've certainly adapted a positive attitude to the start of this game. Commander stringing a few crosses together, and eventually fell that one to Ali Mitchell in a long-range effort. It wasn't, wasn't that far off the mark. Danny Craney, bring it off to Black. Craney again, it's coming, calling for it. Goff reads the situation up. The ball's still in play. It's Gary Stevens for Rangers. Given away though to Black, and uh, the home crowd not too happy at the moment with Rangers' play. This is Jury. He needs some help here. It's not forthcoming, but uh, he gets the free kick. And he Craney in there. But uh, Jury surrounded by Kilmarnock players. This is Robertson. And looking for Hatley. And Hatley pushed there from behind. And he known the culprit. And a uh, real chance here for Rangers now. But, uh, so many players who can shrink the ball so well. So Bobby Geddes with a lot to do. So, 
He plays there. So too is Jury. And it's Jury who strikes it. It's deflected and just past the post. Rangers have the corner. Well struck by Gordon Jury. Almost bringing him his fourth goal of the season. Yeah, it was a dangerous place to give a free kick away, particularly the way Gordon Jury strikes the ball. But the command of defence stood its ground there and is deflected for a corner kick. So Jury in there at the near post as Trevor Stephen prepares to take this one for Rangers. Goffs up there challenging and inches away from the Rangers skipper. It's a really high floated corner kick. Terrific leap here from Richard Goff, but just sends that one past the post. A little touch by Jury, but uh, picked up by Montgomery. Giving away though. This is Jury. Mikhailichenko's on the far side. That's a good ball, despite. Uh, Ali Mitchell getting a touch to it still, it's Mikhailichenko looking for Hatley. At the offside flag, could get up on the far side. And uh, the Rangers fans unhappy. Well, it was a terrific ball in the first place from Jury out to Mikhailichenko. Then Mikhailichenko made a run forward and probably should have pushed, pushed that one in the path of Jury, who made a good run up to support him on the right-hand side. So, Tom Brown. Challenge going in there from McCall. That's out for the throw to Rangers. McCall leaving it to Robertson. It's a fair bit of length into these throws. It's aimed at Hatley. Picked up by Mikhailichenko. Robertson. Fury. Hatley. Trevor Stephen. Black's in there for Kilmarnock though. Mark Riley getting it clear, but only as far as McCall. This is Gary Stevens looking for Trevor Stephen. A mistake there by Black. And amazingly, Kilmarnock survive. Well, there's a clip for handball there by Trevor Stephen. But as the ball was played through, Black didn't seem to realise it was a Rangers player running in behind them in the shape of Trevor Stephen. And I just wonder if the goalkeeper got a touch in that one. Certainly, Trevor Stephen was claiming. There yeah. was a touch. Yeah, it was just a bit of an up and under here from Gary Stevens and Tom Black. I'm not quite sure whether they thought Bobby Geddes was coming out to collect this one, but he was a bit hesitant nevertheless. There's John Brown to Mikhailichenko. First time ball to Hatley. Stabbed through there nicely by Hatley. This is Murray. He's surrounded by Kamarak players. Finds Robertson. He's closed down by Craney. So very little space there, and that's out for the throw. Two Rangers. Kalachenko trying to keep that ball in play, but uh, it still goes Rangers' way. And a long throw from Robertson, looking for Hatley. This is Jury. Trevor Stephen. Hatley, and he spotted Gary Stevens. And the ball's behind for the goal kick. Well, that was great awareness. Gary Stevens had been free on the right hand side. And Hatley picked him out. Yeah, there's a lovely bit of vision there by Mark Hatley. Um, everything was very tight in and around the ed edge of the 18 yard box. But uh, not the greatest of efforts from Gary Stevens. So a fair bit of movement there. Eventually it's to Brown. Person playing it through, Goff gets a touch. McCall and Brown there, uh, sixes and sevens, and uh, eventually they just get it clear. That's a good solid challenge there by Gary Stevens. But uh, Gordon Jury losing out. Kilmarnock battling away here. It's a free kick against Gary Stevens. Kilmarnock get on with it quickly. This is Black sending in the cross. It's John Brown though, getting the touch from Rangers. Here comes Mikhailichenko. The referee says play on. He was challenged there by Matt Roberts. The ball broke for him. This is Gordon Jury. Still at Jury, getting away from Milne. Montgomery is across there with him. Still at Jury to Trevor Stephen. Jury again. This is a good play by Rangers. It's McCall looking for Hatley. Well, he got the touch, but uh, no part in the header. Matt Hatley with 21 goals so far. This season, a trem tremendous scoring rate in just 31 games. That includes uh, six doubles. All coming off the head of Murray. There's Goff. Somebody by Andy Milne. 
Uh, Tom Brown to chase, but Gary Stevens has a bit of time. This is Goff to Brown. Robertson's wide. Helichenko's ahead of him. Robertson deciding to cut inside. And he's caught there by Mark Roberts. So it's Mikhailichenko stepping in, and uh, he wins a throw in off Roberts. And despite that uh, foot fracture, going well into these challenges. And he's obviously made a very good recovery indeed. Missing for the past three games since the defeat here by Dundee United. I'm sure the Rangers fans are delighted to see him back this afternoon. Here's other fullback Gary Stevens. Caught there almost by Craney. This is Trevor Stephen. And it's been skimming back, providing the cover. All high out of play for the throw to Rangers. Commander really do make it difficult for teams because when they get them, they've got Tom Brown playing the lone striker role, and uh, when the ball does break forward, it gets good support. But also in defensive situations, they get everybody behind the ball, which makes it difficult for teams to break down. And there's Robertson playing it through. Hitley getting a touch. Jury's in there. It's headed away by Montgomery. Only as far as Murray. Again, a lot of Kilmarnock players in there. There's Jury with the goalkeeper, and Geddes takes the ball at the second attempt. So, a handshake between Jury and Geddes. I think in these situations, the, the referee's always going to favour the goalkeeper here. Bobby Geddes, favourite for that one, and uh, Jury really has no great chance of getting the ball. Kamarnock playing with a lot of fire, a lot of spirit, a lot of commitment. It's a uh, nice play by Mitchell. And uh, an apology there from Stuart McCall to the Kilmarnock player. So we're now into injury time in this first half. Long Valley Maxwell keeping a close eye on things as McPherson takes the free kick. It's headed away by Goff. Only as far as Roberts. Looking for Mitchell. Robertson goes with him. Sliding challenge and Kilmarnock have the throw. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, a good first half by Kilmarnock, and I'm sure their fans are the happier set here at Ibrook Stadium. The half-time score, Rangers nil, Kilmarnock nil. So the second half gets underway. Well, no changes and either line up and immediately it's Kilmarnock on the attack got the flag going up against Sean McSkimming ball played through to him there by Danny Craney but, uh, McSkimming doing well in the first half and always a threat on the left side of the field both on the ground and in the air Kilmarnock play a lot of high balls into that area for him but, uh, no doubt uh, Kelly will be happy to leave here with a point this afternoon Having already taken two from this venue back in August. There's Gary Stevens running into trouble. It's Craney playing it through, looking for Brown. That was a good challenge by Richard Goff. Well, it all began with uh, Gary Stevens running into trouble, and it was Goff to the rescue. Yeah, Gary Stevens just getting caught in possession here. Craney dinks a nice little ball through to Tom Brown. It was a terrific tackle there by Richard Goff. The danger eventually cleared. Beautifully beaten now by Montgomery. This is Roberts. Good ball to Danny Craney. Now not getting players forward now, but Craney completely missing that one. And had a few players on the far side of the penalty area, so Craney will be disappointed there. Smith again on the telephone. And some instructions. Well, Peter Hauser was out warming up a uh, short time ago. I wonder if he's contemplating a change. This is Murray. Delachenko. This is Jury. But, uh, the referee has uh, stepped in and awarded the free kick. Uh, 
difficult. Challenge there. And the referee immediately halting the play. Goff moves forward. Robertson takes a free kick. Jury's in there. This is Hatley. Still Rangers pushing forward. It's McCall. Jury. Robertson. Robertson does well, gets in the cross. Hitley's up there! And it's well taken by Geddes from point blank. Geddes getting down very quickly indeed. Yeah, the ball came in from David Robertson, Matt Hitley. And you expect to score so many goals from those situations this year, but never really get the power behind the header. As you can see here, climbs well enough, but no real problem for Bobby Geddes. Offside flag has gone up. It's a free kick to Rangers. You just wonder how long, how much more effort Tom Brown can put into the game because he's really been asked to do a tremendous amount of work up there on his own for command. He's virtually doing shuttles from one side of the park to the other. So it's John Brown for Rangers. This is Trevor Stephen getting in behind the defence. It's Hitley, it's off the post. And it's cleared by McPherson. Well, Trevor Stephen got in behind the defence here, drove the ball across, it broke right through to Hitley. he touched it onto the post there, it was McPherson who swept it behind for the corner kick. So that gets the Rangers fans going. And uh, there's a man who really started that, Trevor Stephen sending it in. And the diving header there from John Brown. And eventually Kilmarnock managed to get it clear, and the ball drifts behind for the goal kick that John Brown there also coming close and Rangers will make a substitution so Alexei Mikhailichenko goes off the Ukrainian leaves the field and the Dutchman Peter Houstra comes on and uh, Houstra five goals this season in just 12 games one of them coming against Kilmarnock at Rugby Park in the 2-0 victory there so Walter Smith and Archie Knox hoping he can repeat that this afternoon Robertson, he's got Houstra to his left, cuts inside up, still it's Robertson, now it's Houstra. Playing the long one and looking for Hatley. But, uh, that's an indication of how difficult Rangers are finding it. So for the throw to Kilmanek. Tom Black to Danny Craney. And this time it's Rangers ball. A long one from Gary Stevens, taken down by Hatley. Has to play it early, looking for Houstra. That's a good ball, it's Peter Houstra! substitute at Rugby Park and scored a vital goal for Rangers does it again yeah it was a marvellous through ball by Mark Hatley got a little bit of help there from Gus McPherson we mentioned just earlier there trying to get the ball to history and win against win situations as you can see here that really is a, a bad defensive mistake, Houston pounces on it and a really good finish so it's Rangers 1, Kilbarnock 0 Conway Nixon there ahead of Hitley. Nixon, a long clearance, and a miscue there by Robertson. This is Tom Brown, stepping away from John Brown. Good play this by Brown. Down he goes, claims by the Kilmarnock fans for a penalty, but the referee waving them away. And it's Rangers on the counter-attack, it's John Brown. Through for McCall, Hitley's racing through the middle. This is Jury, Gary Stevens is in a lot of space. Jury has a goal. That's a marvellous hit by Geddes. It's Hitley. Still it's Hitley. It's 2-0. 75 minutes gone. And Mark Hitley gets his 22nd goal of the season. It all began with a tremendous shot by Gordon Jury. He had Gary Stevens to his outside. He had the shot. Geddes did well to block it. Hitley came through. And knocked the ball into the net. Yeah, it was a great run forward initially by Stuart McCall. 
the ball came inside to Gordon Jury, just sat up nicely for him there, he didn't half thump, but Bobby Geddes couldn't hold it, although I'd expected him to hold that one. Mark Hately walks his round him. Rangers 2, Kilmarnock 0. No. And it all came out of a claim for a penalty at the other end by the Kilmarnock players. John Brown didn't hang about, he burst out of defence to begin the move. And Rangers cashed in. Well, a smile from Mark Catley, and no wonder what a season he's having. He carried Rangers through a very difficult spell, and he's well on course to beat his goals tally of last season. I think it was uh, 28 he had, so just uh, six shot of that target. And the way he's playing, he should easily beat it. Well, Rangers really moving up a gear. It's Hitley again. It's another one. It's 3-0. That was a great ball through from Trevor Stephen. So two goals in the space of two minutes for Hitley. That one set up brilliantly by Trevor Stephen. Well, they've got the game's over now for Comana. The back core there getting put a little bit square. Trevor Stephen slides the ball into Hitley's path. And another lovely finish. Nice little ball in here from nicely weighted pass from Trevor Steves. As you can see there, the commander back four caught very square, just dinks it over Bobby Geddes. Rangers three, Kilmarnock nil. This is Tom Brown trying to switch the play to Craney, but easily cut out by Gary Stevens. He's trying to pick out Jury, Kilmarnock have it again now. It's uh, Tom Blackwell forward. There's uh, some consolation here for Kilmarnock. Well, Jury runs him all the way through, and that's a goal kick. Good defensive play by Gordon Jury. Running with the uh, Kilmarnock fullback all the way. Yeah, it's lovely for your defenders when you see your centre forward chasing back like that. Really was good defending from Gordon Jury, particularly so late in the game. And he thought his legs might have been a little bit tired because he has put in a lot of effort this afternoon. A few fans drifting away now, the Rangers fans certainly happy. They've left the stadium on a number of occasions this season in a completely different mood. Here's Black for Kilmarnock. There's a big skimming. Harry Stevens in there with him, doing well. Looking for Hatley. Big on for Rangers again here. A lot of Kilmarnock players caught forward. This is Hauster Hatley's running through the middle. Hatley watching this one all the way, but it was always just too much for him. A good running by the big striker. Hauster did his best to get it across to him. Trying to pick out Danny Craney, but again, Jury takes up a good position, cuts that one out, and there goes the final whistle. Good solid victory for Rangers, and there's the man of the moment, Mark Catley, with two superb second-half goals. He set up the first one after 69 minutes for the Dutchman, Peter Hauser. Catley sending through a superb pass, and Hauser drilling the ball past Bobby Geddes. Then in 75 minutes, Gordon Jury had a blasted goal. Geddes managed to stop the ball, but Hitley showed his class and walked the ball into the back of the net. And just two minutes after that, it was Hitley again. A superb through pass from Trevor Stephen. And there was Hitley to finish off. The final score here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 3, Kilmarnock 0. And close on 45,000 were at Ibrook, so it was one yellow card. That was from skimming of Killy.